Help with carlline.com. Give us a call at air code 937 215-4388 or 313-728-4404 or you can check us out at helpwithcaronline.com Okay guys, I'm working with a 2001 Pontiac Grand Prix GT and the problem we had with this the customer had studs were broke and it popped off the wheel now the issue was there was only three lugs on it and you know you gotta have five now one thing about these uh, you can do this without taking taking everything off and taking the hub bearing off now I was prepared to do a, uh, a hub bearing on this but to save the customer some money it looks like we can just get away with just putting new studs in it. Um, you know, I've showed in another video on how to test for wheel bearings and check things like that. So I was going to kill two birds in one stone. In this case, we're going to say again, we're going to say the customer money. We're just going to put in just the uh, studs. Now, what's so gravy on these uh, these Grand Prix these these Grand Prix here is there is there is a little path little passageway for the stud. Now. I got these. I got these from O'Reilly's. Now, shout out to O'Reilly's, by the way. Um, there's two different sizes on this on this uh, this stud. One is going to be with with the hub with the hub on and with the hub off. Now, if you're going to do it this way, then you want to buy the stud with the hub on because that again there is a little. A little passageway here, which I can see if I can get the camera here, which which will save your ass from having to do all this. And what you'll have to do is line everything up and just turn it. Let's see what we got here. And you like that. Now you also gotta make sure those there's little grooves here on on the stud, which is also on, is connected to the hub. So you gotta make sure those match, you know, that they, they go in there, they're snug. Now, as far as lug nuts, when I change studs, I always change the lug nuts. So guys, always change your lug nuts, all right? Um, and the way I'm gonna, the way I'm gonna press this back in, is I'm gonna take one of the lug nuts like this. Now this is this is on this is on the fly, guys. If you guys don't have a uh, an impact, which I do have an impact, but I wanted to show you guys, you know the you know the way if you don't have one, and especially if you're doing this yourself. So uh, you want to definitely get a, a a a big size drive for this, as far as the ratchet goes. Uh, your 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 bolt is going to be at a 19 millimeter. I'm running with a 19 millimeter socket. And then what you're gonna do, is you're gonna just tighten it up. You have to put a lot of press press on this. It might not feel like it's going in, but it is. And it's gotta be pressed completely up against the uh up against the uh hub bearing. So I'm gonna see if I can get a shot back here. Ah, there it is. It's right here. Okay, so this is this is going to be your opening right here, where you'll be able to get that stud. You'll be able to get push that stud in. Now the same way that I got these studs in here is the same way I got them out. I use something real simple, guys. I only I used a hammer and a screwdriver. Also to keep this this uh, wheel from turning while I'm trying to see how I'm, I'm tightening this, and you've seen the wheel ain't turning. You're like damn, how's this wheel ain't turning? I'm just using a screwdriver right here. And just duck it in the groove, and it's just it's holding up against the uh, the brake caliber, which I didn't have to take any of this stuff off. So this stuff just really saves you some time. Also, also put the um, the car in neutral. You make sure that you have it jacked up and it's proper. Uh, you got bricks or you got a block behind the back wheel, so the, the damn thing don't tech, don't roll off on you. And uh, that's pretty much what you got to do. I mean, pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, I'll go ahead and finish this up. And uh, I'll get back with you in a second. All right? All right, please. Okay, and we're back. 
Alright guys, you can see, they're all in there, good and pressed. Again, here, you're gonna put your passageway right here. You see that? Keep it in neutral. Just, oh, one other thing. I also used some penetrating oil. It'll make those, it'll make those, those studs slide in there like butter. You, I mean, it could be, uh, WD-40 or PB Blast, doesn't matter. Um, I just use this. This shit was pretty cheap. I got it from, uh, again, I got it from O'Reilly. Shout out to O'Reilly's. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, it looks like we're all done here. All we got to do is put the put the tire back on, and it looks like we've just saved our client a boatload of cash. Cause that's, this is the, uh, oh, the Wil Wilburn Assembly. Uh, shout out to uh, Detroit Axel. Unfortunately, we didn't need it, so yeah, she saved everybody some money, customer money, client money. It's all good. Put the tire back on. You ready to go? Now, I would also suggest when doing these studs too. You know, I check them every you know few days and just give them a good torque just to make you know just to make sure they're good and tight. Especially if you're doing this yourself. Now, if this is a shop doing this, of course they're using air. They'll be using impact. But again, I'm showing you guys how to do it if you gotta do it yourself. You know what I mean? Say so you can save some money, save yourself some money in time. So I hope that helped. And uh, y'all know what to do. You know we sell. You know we got the parts, we got the accessories, we got cars, shit. Car oil, check out our cars in the 4K or car audio, you know, exclusively by Boss Electronics. Shout out to Boss Electronics. I know what to do, you know, rolling nine years, going into our 10th one, you know, and this is what we do, you know what I'm saying? We do what we say we do, and that's help with the car, you know what I'm saying? We we help you in all realms that we can with a car, man, whether it's repairs, <laughs> whether it's buying a car, selling a car, renting a car, you know, we're going to continue to do this. Probably for the next 10, 20 years to be able to take care of you and your car. All right? That's a wrap. All right? It's Dwayne from Illinois Distribution at Help With Your Crib. Help With A Car. JR Management LLC .com. Give us a call at area code 937-215-4388 or 313-728-4404. Or you can check us out at Help With Your Crib. Help With A Car. JR Management LLC .com. And I'm out. That's it. Please.